under the in the in the regulated world, um, they're, um, they're they're each of the, the three parts of the the electricity supply chain and your uh, generation, transmission, and distribution. Um, those were all owned and operated by the same company. And so this is and so. Um, this this company was, was uh, what is, is what economists would call a vertically integrated firm or a vertically integrated utility, um, and uh, to non-economists we would just call it a public utility or an electric utility. So like like Allegheny Power um, prior to deregulation was an example of, of, a, of a public utility. Yeah. So um, so this public utility. Um, operated under what we uh, call the regulated monopoly, right, or a regulated franchise model, right? And so, um, the, the and, and, and the way that this worked was that the utility was granted by the state uh, in geographic territory over which it had a monopoly to produce electricity, to transmit electricity, to and to sell electricity. Okay, so so not only was um, this utility a vertically integrated firm, it was a vertically integrated monopoly, right? So for seven or eight, well, I think about seven decades, um, the, the, the utility could not have any competition for any part of its business, okay? Um, so, um, and in exchange for that, Right, in exchange for being given this, this state-sanctioned monopoly, the utilities agreed to have their prices and their profits uh, regulated by um, a state-level entity called a Public Utility Commission. Right? And so um, the, the Public Utility Commission effectively set the price that the utility could charge for electricity. Um, it also, I mean, it set the price that the utility could charge to different types of customers, right? So uh, Penn State had a different price than Seth Bloomsack, and the Public Utility Commission was ultimately the, the entity that set those prices. Um, the Public Utility Commission uh, also uh, uh, decided what investments the utility would be allowed to, to make. Right, or not not really make, but what what investments the utilities could force their customers to pay for, right? And so, um, um, and so the, the 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 utilities basically they 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 had this monopoly, okay, and they were very highly regulated, right? And their operations were very highly regulated, and I mean basically they had one job, well sort of two jobs. Um, the, the, the first job was that um, they had to supply whatever electricity was demanded. Right? So they couldn't tell people, I, I will not supply you electricity. Okay. Um, and the other thing was that they, ba they, they basically had to operate the system reliably. And so, um, so they had to operate the system in a way that you wouldn't have a lot of blackness. So, so their 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 responsibility was 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 basically you know serve all of the customers and don't break the system. That's all the utility. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, so you can sort of see how um, how this, so this 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 system sort of had its its ups and downs, right? It it created a very stable economic climate for the utility business. Right, and it was able to borrow money right, and attract investment at very a, attractive rates of return, right? um, because sort of you know if if, you, if 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 the utility has a has a guaranteed profit margin of ten percent, right, right, and there's basically no risk to that. If you're a potential investor who's going to lend the utility money, right, all of a sudden this looks like you know manna from heaven, right? and so. Um, and so it, it created a very stable economic climate for the utilities, um, and it, it allowed basically the, um, a fairly rapid electrification of the of, of the of the U.S. 